Howdy. All right, well, got motor mounts done. Motor's back on the K member. I'm um, gonna be working on getting the pilot bearing out today and uh, maybe doing the rear main seal uh, while we're in here. Well, doing it while we're in here, hopefully today. Taking a video of that. T56 is back apart. Had it back all together and it was binding a little bit. Gonna try a lower shim, see how that goes. Catch you in a minute. Well, pipe bearings out. Took all about 10, 12 whaps with a slide hammer from Harbor Freight. Well worth it if you uh, need to do a pilot bearing job on one of these rather than dealing with, uh, I don't know, renting tools or anything else. It comes out all in one piece. You know, pretty good. So, all right, let's take the uh, main cover off here and uh, I get to doing a rear main seal. All right, got the new uh, pilot bearing here, GM part number 1406-1685. Looks like it's pretty much uh, exactly what we need. Uh, I'm gonna be driving in with just a socket. It looks like a 19 millimeter socket would fit uh, perfectly over this right here. But I'm actually gonna go with a 21 just so that way overlap a little bit at the very end. Um, so that way I can make sure it's flush with the face and I don't drive it in too far. So let's get it in. All right, new pilot bearings in. Pretty easy, put a socket on it, go nice and slow. Don't go crazy with it. Just enough to get her in there and well, she's in there. Let's take the uh, rear main cover off. All right, rear main covers off. Looking, I guess, I don't know, pretty good. <laughs> oh, pretty, uh, pretty green to this, but you know, hey, look, there's a crank. There's a camshaft. I can only assume that's stock, since I didn't think he's done anything to it. Well, in any case, all right. Um, so next, let's get the. Uh, Cover gasket over here cleaned up and get the mating surface all cleaned up. Let's pop the new gasket on. Forgot to say, I also like to take a little picture, draw a little picture here and put the bolts uh, kind of where they came out. I don't think it really matters for this cover. I think they're all the same length except for the bottom uh, oil pan bolts. Um, you know, there's a reason I'm not an artist, but uh, <laughs> I guess it works for me. All right, working on getting this mangled mess of a rear main seal out. Just want to make this in case anyone else comes across this at some point. Um, can't really use those pry hooks that I'm supposed to. Not entirely sure which portion of this uh, metal part here is actually part of the cover and which is part of the seal. It looks like that whole lip is part of the seal. But the seal that I got, it does not go as deep as that, so, well, we'll see. Well, sure enough, this one's got like an inner metal ring on here that well, I was worried was actually part of the inner uh, outer cover here, but it's not, so no worries. If you're at this stage and you uh, are worried about smashing this inner ring here, Go for it. It'll make life a lot easier. All right, so we got the old rear main seal out, but one other thing I'm gonna do while I'm in here is change out this old oil barbell with a Sac City Corvette billet one. Uh, prevent any oil contamination failures. So I just got a uh, flathead screwdriver behind this to get it out. There we go. That's what the old one looks like. All right, new uh, oil barbell is in. Just go nice and slow with it. Um, mine was leaking out oil until I put it in, so I'm not sure if yours will be the same, but time to clean up this uh, surface here, and then we can start putting the new rear cover gasket on along with the rear cover. All right, well, there it is. There's one new rear main seal. 
One new pilot bearing, one new rear cover gasket, and a new Sac City billet barbell in there. Um, wasn't too bad. Uh, take your time. Go slow. Just about like everything else in here. Uh, bottom two are to 104 inch pounds. Make sure you have an inch pounds. Um, and then the rest of them are 18 foot pounds. I just kind of went in a cross crisscross sort of motion, but then make sure you go everything over everything again. Um, other than that, uh, that's about that. Next up after this, put the flywheel on. We'll put the clutch on. Hopefully I'm going to shim this tomorrow and we can figure out exactly what's going on with the uh, binding that I've been having. We're getting there. See you in the next one.